What is it? Hello, welcome to the Essential Gamer. You're watching What Is It with me, Lee, and what it is is Freddy Spaghetti. Haven't you heard? There's a new, <laughs> there's a new uh, hero on the on the scene, and it's a it's a piece of linguine. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right. I'll be honest, I didn't know what Freddy Spaghetti was when I started playing it. It, it came into the inbox, I was like, right then, bit of Freddy Spaghetti, let's see what we're dealing with here. And uh, I was actually surprised, because it, I thought it was going to be a stupid, right, you know, those sort of throwaway games that you get, um, so, something like uh, I Am Bread or Goat Simulator, for instance. Something that's, that's so stupid and so impossible you can't really play it. But what I actually got was a surprisingly charming story about a piece of um, consciously gifted spaghetti. Yep, you heard me right. Uh, basic controls are literally the triggers for each end of the spaghetti and you just, you lob your little bit of pasta around uh, completing various tasks which get more and more ridiculous. Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> It's a bit of spaghetti. I loved it. I had, <laughs> had so much fun. It's it's really dumb. The story is delivered with a narrator, who is is basically the scientist who's uh, animated this piece of spaghetti. <laughs> it's a bit of spaghetti, and you got you do all sorts of stuff, man. And um, yeah, it it's really really silly. The story is is very very it's it's completely conscious of itself. It knows it's dumb, but unlike things like I Am Bread, it's not so impossibly frustrating in its controls. It's really simple. It's it's point the stick in the direction you want the spaghetti to go, press the buttons, pull the triggers, and off he goes. That's it. Simple. No messing about. No mad physics that don't really make sense. Although it's a piece of spaghetti, everything kind of makes sense. If that makes sense. So yeah, there's there's a lot of way to fail. Although it's quite easy to control, you can fail in numerous ways. This is one of the things that I really liked about the game, to be honest, because um, the, the, all the different fail stipulations, they all came with their own end scene, like you're playing GTA or something. And yeah, I, I actually really liked it. It was one of the best features. So Freddy, uh, he goes some places, your, your piece of spaghetti there. And like I said, this, the story is actually really well handled in these these small snippet levels. And and there's bonuses as well. You can do some silly things. There's like uh, there's one bonus bit where you get to type different things in on a keyboard and, and see what what appears on the screen. There's another one where I think you're you're playing different songs on a piano. Uh, and uh, you know, there's there's all these little bits, and and there's there's little nuggets. It doesn't rely on on a lot of callbacks to other games either. There's not a lot of Easter eggs in that sense. Uh, that it sort of go, oh hey, we're like this. It's it's kind of sort of announcing Freddy's arrival. So, as you play through the story, there are 50 story levels. Some of them will take you mere seconds, and uh, like I, like I mentioned before, it takes you places. The story doesn't really hang around too much in one place. It kind of uh, it, it keeps things moving and keeps the obstacles different. Every single uh, level, whether it be a snippet, be it eight seconds of your time or a minute and a half, they all offer something completely different to the last. None of them are sort of recreations of the same thing. And uh, there's a lot of ingenuity put into the, the relatively daft story of a piece of conscious spaghetti that um, uh, uh, sort of allow the devs to, to mess with these games so that you have all different kinds of it. You have platforming, you have things where you're manipulating the environment, you have things where you're racing against time, either away or towards something. And some of them are just quite simple, plain and simple, walk from one end to the other, uh, the short level, little, almost like interludes within the proper levels that are quite difficult. And there are difficulty spikes. It's not mega easy, and it's also not unfairly difficult. You can master every single level eventually, which I eventually did. But it doesn't necessarily put it on a plate for you to get it first time. You have to actually try. And I think because you have to actually try playing these stupid games, you, you get quite attached to Freddy Spaghetti. 
and uh, enjoy his company. I do. I enjoy my large or small piece of. I mean, depending on where you, as you can see from the visuals, this it's a bit mad. It's all a bit mental, and. I feel a bit mental for sitting here saying that I enjoyed a game based solely around controlling a sentient spaghetti strand. <laughs> so, Freddy Spaghetti, as Dr. Pasta put it, is Game of the Year 2021. I wonder to see if that will change every year if they don't get it, but it's, it's something. It, it was fun, at least, and because it was fun, I'ma give it a bigger spasimeter baller. Which, as you all know, is a very good score. As always, if this video has been any good to you, please do like and subscribe. All the thumbs up and notification bell stuffs help. 97% of people who watch our videos aren't even subscribed, so what are you doing with your life? Press the button. Come on, it costs you absolutely nothing. Bastards. Anyway. If you don't get anything from the video, don't press the button. I mean, that suits you. It doesn't bother me. I'll just go off and make myself some pasta. Preferably some rigatoni.